Hello class of 2024. My name is Heather Thornton. I am the high school counselor for students with the last name H through Q. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about graduation requirements for um, Harrison High School. Harrison High School uh, graduation requirements are four English credits, four math credits, three science credits, three social studies credits, a half credit of fine arts, a half credit of health, a half credit of PE, and a half credit of oral communications. And then seven credits for career focus. And this can come in a variety of different forms. If you're a band student, after you have received your half credit of band or choir, then any other credit that you receive for band or choir will count as a career focus credit. You can also obtain career focus credits through um, CTE courses, the career and technical education. So that would be like family and consumer science classes, um, survey of business classes, DECA classes, marketing classes, um, survey of ag classes. All of those are foundation courses that you, that you take and you build upon and, and can take in a specific content area. We have a variety of English classes offered. We have English 9, and then we um, also offer some pre-AP classes. And then as 11th and 12th graders, you can take Comp 1 and 2 if you've taken the ACT or the Accuplacer and receive dual credit for um, high school and college credit for those classes. And um, college classes, you receive one full credit for semester where um, high school credit classes like English 12, you would only re you would receive a full credit um, after you've taken a year-long course. As far as math, um, the math courses that are required are Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and then um, your fourth math, you have a, a different options, Algebra 3, Pre-Calculus, College Algebra, or AP Calculus. And then as far as science, you're required to take Physical Science and Biology, and then you can choose from environmental science, chemistry, physics, or anatomy and physiology. As far as social studies, the three units that are required are U.S. history, world history, and then a semester of civics and a semester of economics. And then like I said earlier, you can pick up your fine art, half credit of fine arts, in a variety of ways. You can pick it up through band, choir, there's art drawing that's offered, and um, a variety of different art classes that are offered. Health, it's a half unit, and um, it's a graduation requirement. PE, if you're involved in any athletics at the high school, that uh, your first half credit will go towards your PE credit, and then any additional credits that you receive from athletics will uh, count as career focus. And then um, oral communications, that's your speech class, and you're required to have a half credit of that. And some students will opt into taking speech uh, through the college so that they obtain dual credit for the course. And so that gets you to a total of 23 credits in order to graduate with a Harrison High School diploma. Another thing that I'd like to talk to you today about is the graduation or the grade point average. How do you calculate it? Step one. Convert every letter grade to its respective point. So A is a 4, B equals 3, C equals 2, D equals 1, and F is a 0. Step 2, add up all the grade points. Step 3, divide the added grade points uh, by step 2, the number of class credits taken. When does it start? Your GPA starts now, at the beginning of your freshman year. If you took Algebra 1 and or Physical Science in 8th grade, your GPA started last year. Your GPA is cumulative all four years. Why is it important? Well, it's important because a high school GPA, a high GPA is important to college admissions and scholarships. A good GPA is important if you are looking for recommendation from your teachers or counselors for college admissions, scholarships, and employment. I look forward to meeting with each and every one of you. And again, my name is Heather Thornton, and I am your counselor of your last name begins with H through Q. Hi freshmen, I'm Shani Thompson and I'm the school counselor for students with last names R through Z. At HHS, we utilize an online program known as Zello to help with this process. Zello is fantastic. You simply navigate to the website, log in using your Goblin email, 
and your username is your date of birth. Then you get started by taking quick, fun, interactive surveys about what you like and don't like, how you learn best, what you value, and more. The system uses your results to create a list of careers to just streamline the process and help you to narrow down your goals, formulate plans, and gives you a place to save and share the results. During freshman year, ninth graders log into Zello and complete the assigned lessons, personality and learning styles. Each lesson includes a five minute assessment or survey about you. Zello uses this information to streamline your results into a format that makes sense and helps you to personalize your goals and see the exact steps needed to realistically achieve them. Once you have completed the assigned lessons and surveys in Zello, then you will need to complete the freshman survey. The freshman survey is a Google form where you'll, you'll include who your counselor is, your name, your Zello results, and a few other pieces of information we gather to prepare for the freshman interview. During your freshman interview, then you'll be ready to create and edit your student success plan. Hi, I'm Ann Milburn, one of the counselors at Harrison High School. I have the last names for A through G. What I'm going to talk to you today is the Harrison High School Student Success Plan. What is a student success plan? It's a path forward. It's your own individualized education plan to achieve readiness for college, career, and past high school. Next, I would like to talk to you about why do we complete a student success plan? To have a visual guide of, along the pathways to graduation. You can see how many classes that you need to take for graduation. You can also see how many you've completed towards graduation and be able to have a clear visual and a shareable document that you can give to your parents or advisor or your counselor. And you'll be sharing this with your counselor. Why do we do this? We also show that there's also accelerated learning opportunities for you. There's also, if there's academic deficits or interventions that we need to do, it also is a good college and career planning tool for you to use. What, it's a law? Yes, every student has to complete one. By eighth grade, in your eighth grade year, we went to the middle school and actually worked on half of the eighth graders last year to complete their educational plan. Due to COVID, we're gonna help you finish those. Last week when you had CAPS, you were advised to work on your student success plan. Many of y'all did an awesome job and shared those with your counselor. We just want to make sure that everyone has one on file so that we can um, show the state. You can review these every year and update those. Even if you fill those out as a ninth grader and you really don't know what you're going to take 10th, 11th, and 12th grade year, each year we'll meet with you during your class interviews and be able to help you update those and change those. This also gives us a great time to collaborate with you over you know, what classes you want to take, what kind of career choices you want to make, look at colleges that you might be interested in going into. So let me kind of guide you through this. Step one, you're going to visit the highschoolcounselor.com. This is our website. When you get there, you're going to click on students. Once you get to students, you'll scroll down till you see the very Harrison High School Student Success Plan. You're going to make a copy of this once you find it, and you're going to rename it with your last name, first name, and SSP for Student Success Plan. Once you do this, it will save to your drive. That way you can access it at any time with your parent, advisor, or your counselor. Your last step is that you are going to share that with your counselor. If you have the last name A through G, you'll share it with Ann Milburn. If you have the last name H through Q, you will share that with Ms. Thornton. If you have R through Z, you'll be sharing that with Ms. Thompson. I mentioned the counseling website, thehighschoolcounselor.com. Why do we use this website? One, you can request to see a counselor. You can request to see your counselor while you're sitting in your class or you know you want to talk to them the next day. You can request that and that way we will call you in when we're available to talk to you. You can request a transcript. This transcript might be to go get your driver's test. It might be a transcript um, for an upcoming job or maybe eventually that will be for a transcript for when you go to college. You can find all kind of resources on our, on our website. Zello, the student success plan, graduation requirements, and so much more. 
things like tassel time and all kinds of scholarships eventually. How can my counselor help me? My counselor can help me in so many ways. We have counseling lessons, we do self-awareness, we do positive mental health, we do social skills, conflict mediation, study habits, alcohol and drug use prevention, career and college planning. We also do individual planning. We sit down with you and you'll be seeing us really soon for your individual counseling sessions with us to go over your student success plans, go over your goals, and find out what you want to do post-secondary after you have to graduate from high school. We also do responsive services. Maybe you have had a bad day. You can always come in and meet with a counselor. Go to our counseling website and request your counselor. We can also make referrals to other things and help you in anything we can. Next, um, we also talk about getting involved. It's very important to be involved at Harrison High School. These are things that you can put on a resume and put on so that when you go to college, you can show the th different things that you were active in. I think students that are involved in something really do better in school overall. So get involved at Harrison High School. And lastly, contact your counselor if you have any kind of questions. Remember, I have A through G, Ann Milburn, Heather Thornton, H through Q, and then Shaney Thompson, R through Z. Go Gops!